What is going on everybody? Today I will be previewing some of the biggest week 2 games of the 2024 college football season. We are just 2 months away from the start of the college football season, so today we will continue to preview some of the biggest games of next season. And in this video I will be previewing week 2. And let's start off with looking at one of the most important games, not just of week 2 but of the whole season. And that game is the Michigan Wolverines versus the Texas Longhorns. This is a really huge week 2 matchup. And this game is going to have playoff implications. This is a game between an SEC powerhouse and a Big Ten powerhouse. Both of these teams made the college football playoffs last season. And they both have a realistic chance to make the 12 team playoffs next season. This game will be played in the big house. So this is going to be a difficult road test for Texas. Texas is one of the favorites to win next year's national championship. But first they will have to make it through the reigning national champions Michigan. And it is going to be interesting to see that Texas offense led by Quinn Ewers is playing against that dominant Michigan defense. And if Texas does have an advantage in this game, then that advantage has to be on the offensive side. More specifically, the quarterback position. Because Michigan does have some question marks at quarterback. But despite some of the question marks Michigan has at quarterback, I honestly think Michigan might be a team that is being underestimated. And let's not count out Michigan in this game. Michigan has this game at home. And they return some of their top stars on the team. Will Johnson returns in the secondary. Mason Graham and Kenneth Grant return on the defensive line. And those two are going to be a force for Michigan up front. But if you look on the offensive side, they also return possibly the best tight end in college football, Colston Loveland. And they also return Donovan Edwards at running back. And I really think Donovan Edwards is going to be a stud for the Wolverines. And I'm telling you, if Michigan somehow figures it out at the quarterback position, I really think this is a team that can win a national title again. The quarterback position is going to determine a lot for Michigan. Even if Michigan has their struggles at quarterback in this game, I still expect a close game. Because Michigan is still a very good all-around team, and it is not going to be easy to beat the reigning national champions in the big house. This should definitely be a fun game, and this game could get very physical. The next game I want to talk about is NC State versus Tennessee. This is a neutral side game that will be played in Charlotte, North Carolina. This is definitely going to be a fun game. NC State and Tennessee are both teams that could potentially be sleepers in their conference. Tennessee has a quarterback with one of the highest ceilings in college football, and that guy is Nico Iamaliava. Tennessee also returns some of their top defensive stars, James Pierce Jr., Amari Thomas, and Omar Norman Law. This is a Tennessee defense that has been slowly improving over the last couple of seasons. And the offense was the best in the country in 2022. So let's not forget Josh Heupel knows what it takes to be elite offensively. And you have the right foundation to build an elite offense with quarterback Nico Iamaliava. This is a team with a lot of potential. And NC State on the other hand has been consistently winning 8 or 9 games with head coach Dave Doran. And NC State has struggled to find good quarterback play. But now they add Grayson McCall who was the most experienced Cooper 5 quarterback. And NC State also adds Noah Rogers, Wesley Grimes, and Justin Jolie to back up the incredible Kevin Concepcion in the receiving room. This is an offense that has potential to be one of the ACC's best, and this is a defense that has been consistently good. So this could possibly be the year that NC State competes for an ACC title and wins double-digit games. NC State also doesn't have a difficult schedule, so if they manage to beat Tennessee, it makes the path very easy for them. This game is going to be a fun week 2 Saturday night game. And I am definitely interested to see who pulls out the win in this game. The next game I want to talk about is Nebraska versus Colorado. And last season Colorado won this game pretty easily, but I expect a lot closer of a game in 2024. Nebraska shouldn't have the same issue they had at quarterback last season because they now have 5 star quarterback Dylan Raiola who is already getting comfortable with this team. And the offense should be very improved if they can stay healthy. Nebraska returns a lot of production, and they return one of the best defensive coordinators in the country, Tony White. Matt Rule always takes a big jump up in year two, and I really believe the bull drop for Nebraska is ending in 2024, because there are just too many signs pointing up with this team, and Nebraska has this game at home against Colorado. But Nebraska shouldn't take this Colorado team lightly either. Colorado is probably going to come out hot in 2024, and they return one of the best quarterbacks in the country, Shadir Sanders. And Deion Sanders has made it a priority to beef up the line of scrimmage and try to improve this team. So this game could really determine how much improved Colorado actually is at the line of scrimmage. And I am definitely looking forward to this game. And the atmosphere for this game should actually be insane. 
The next game I want to talk about is Oregon versus Boise State. And this just might be the most underrated game of the 2024 college football season. And nobody is expecting an upset in this game. But believe it or not, Boise State is actually 2-0 against Oregon in football. This is a Boise State team that returns a lot on defense. And they add 5-star quarterback Malachi Nelson to the team. They won the Mountain West last year. And ever since Spencer Danielson has took over this team as the head coach, they have been trending up in every way imaginable. Oregon should definitely not come out slow in this game if they want to win it. Oregon is going to be a huge favorite in this game. But I do believe this is going to be an underrated game. And Boise State could potentially keep it close and just imagine if they win this game. And if Boise State was to win this game, it would really help their chances at the playoffs and they would jump pretty high in the rankings. And it would be a massive win for this Boise State program. In my opinion, Boise State is going to be the best group of five team next season. And I am definitely not saying Boise State will beat Oregon. It might not even be close. But this is a very interesting game that is flying under the radar in my opinion. So I'm looking forward to this week 2 matchup. The next game I want to talk about is Oklahoma State versus Arkansas. This game could ultimately end up being a blowout. But this is going to be a decent test for Oklahoma State. And this game gives Arkansas the opportunity to get back on the right track if they were to win this game on the road. Arkansas head coach Sam Pittman is definitely in the hot seat, but Bobby Petrino is now the offensive coordinator, and Bobby Petrino is highly experienced. And Sam Pittman and Bobby Petrino could work really well together. And I'm interested to see if Arkansas can turn it around with the new quarterback and new offensive coordinator. And beating Oklahoma State would be huge for Arkansas. But Oklahoma State returns the best running back in college football, Ollie Gordon. And this is a Big 12 title contender. So I highly doubt Oklahoma State comes out slow to start the season. So this is really a must-win game for Oklahoma State if they want to have a successful season. The next game I want to talk about is Iowa versus Iowa State. And this game is really going to be a big test for both of these teams. It should be pretty competitive. Iowa State is a sleeper in the Big 12. And I believe they are first in the country for returning production. And Iowa returns a lot of production on defense as well. And they also had a change of offensive coordinator. Both these teams should be very solid, and this game is going to be a must win for both of these teams. And I could see this game going absolutely either way. It should be a very competitive low scoring battle, and these are two teams that could be fighting for a spot in the top 25. And anybody who loves defensive slugfest should definitely watch this game. The next game I want to talk about is Tulane versus Kansas State, and these are two legitimate 12 team playoff contenders. Kansas State will have to play on the road in this game, and that makes this game a lot more interesting. There's some questions with this Tulane team. They lost a lot of production, and they also lost their head coach. But they have former Power 5 quarterback Ty Thompson, and he is definitely ready to prove himself. And there's no better way to prove yourself than playing against one of the better Power 5 defenses. This game should definitely be a lot of fun. The next game I want to talk about is Clemson versus Appalachian State. Clemson should be a little worried in this game. Because they played Georgia week 1, but playing App State week 2 after a big game against Georgia in week 1 isn't very ideal. App State is almost always competitive against Power 5 teams. They beat Texas A&M in 2022, and they've been very competitive with North Carolina the past two seasons. And if we really want to look back, let's not forget this was the team that knocked off Michigan back in 2007. Ultimately, that was a long time ago, but the point is App State is always a good team. And I'm expecting them to take a step up in 2024. They went 9-5 in 2023. But next season they return a lot of production. And Joey Aguilera is huge to have back at quarterback. This is a team that could possibly make a run for the group of 5 playoff spot. And imagine if they were to pull off the upset against Clemson. I honestly do expect a closer game. So Clemson should definitely play a clean game if they do not want to get upset in this game. And that would really suck for them if they started the season off 0-2 because they will likely lose to Georgia. And then App State is no cupcake on that schedule, so Clemson better be prepared for that game. The next game I want to talk about is the After Dark game between Washington State and Texas Tech. And unfortunately, Pac-12 After Dark football is no longer a thing, but this is close enough. And former Washington State leading receiver Josh Kelly transferred to Texas Tech. And he returns home to play against his former team, and that makes this game even more interesting. And I have a feeling Josh Kelly is going to light it up in this game against his former team. Let's not forget Texas Tech also added 5-star wideout Micah Hudson in the class of 2024. And Texas Tech returns one of the best running backs in the country, Taj Brooks. 
Texas Tech is going to be very explosive on the offensive side of the ball. And Washington State versus Texas Tech should definitely be a fun after dark game. The last game I want to talk about is Northwestern versus Duke. This is going to be a defensive battle and this game is unpredictable in my eyes. I would say this game is definitely a toss up. Both these defenses should be very good. And Northwestern is near the top of the country for returning production on defense. So that defense is definitely going to be good again. I think Duke might have the advantage if Malik Murphy plays to his full potential. Duke does have some question marks after losing head coach Mike Elko and quarterback Riley Leonard. But there is no saying how good Malik Murphy can actually be for Duke. And I'm excited to watch Malik Murphy play because I saw flashes there in the little time he played at Texas. And he could really separate Duke from being just a bowl team to an 8 or 9 win team. Northwestern will have a difficult path to bowl eligibility in 2024, so this is a must win game for them. I'm definitely looking forward to this game, because both these teams could really use a win in this game. But anyways, that is going to do it for today's video. Let me remind you guys to like the video, and also subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. And if you guys love college football, then you will love this channel. Because we upload a ton of college football content and we basically cover everything on this channel. So definitely consider subscribing and also consider joining my Discord server down in the description below. But that is going to do it guys and peace out.